Hi everybody, it's Daniel with KW Premier. It is Thursday, that means it's time for your Thursday thought. And the thought I'm coming to you with this Thursday is investment properties or income properties. And I'm gonna talk about both a little bit. Um, so you obviously have your straight up investment properties, right? Those are the properties that someone's gonna buy with the sole purpose of renting them out. It could be a single family home, could be a duplex, triplex, fourplex, and all the way up you could buy even apartment complexes if you want. But for the most part, most small-time real estate investors that I work with are investing in, in single family or maybe fourplexes. Um, and there you're always kind of calculating your rate of return. You're trying to figure out what your purchase price is and what your expenses are gonna be, what the property is gonna bring in in gross revenue minus all the expenses to see what your cash flow is going to be and what your return is going to be, both on your cash on cash return, meaning how much money am I actually putting out of my pocket to acquire the property? And then also um, just your standard rate of return and not your cash on cash rate of return. So those are all things that I'm pretty familiar with. Um, I have a background in property management. I've owned a couple of my own rentals. Um, and then as a family, we also have a little LLC own about eight properties um, nationally and internationally. Um, and so some I'm really good at, really find a lot of pleasure and enjoyment out of it. And then there's the other um, type of income property, that's just like short-term rentals. And so I've helped a few clients uh, recently over the last maybe 18 months, two or three buyers who bought a property and they were specifically looking for a property that they could easily rent out a portion of the home or maybe a cottage or garage apartment or maybe even just a room that was, it was just set up for short-term rentals, VRVOs and Airbnb being kind of the top two platforms for that. And so that's kind of a new thing that I'm seeing. You have normal homeowners who are you, you know, making plans for themselves to buy a property uh, and have it produce some income. And so it's a really cool thing to consider is like, well, should I buy, should I not buy? Maybe you're in a position where you could buy and a portion of your home could be utilized on Airbnb or VRBO, and there's lots of complications with this, but it's a good way to maybe uh, not only buy a house and start building equity, but also um, you know, bring in a, an additional stream of income into your life and into your house. So um, if you have any thoughts, comments, questions about uh, investment properties or about Airbnbs, I'd love to be a resource for you on that. Um, reach out to me and we can kind of have that conversation. So thanks very much. Hope you all are doing well and stay tuned for next week's Thursday Thought. Ciao.